and on the, at the same time, China getting him thousands of a second. But here is confirmation of it. So China going through automatically with Canada and Italy. Germany and Ghana also going through. So it's a privilege to be joined right now by the fantastic athletics team that represented Ghana at the just ended Olympic game. And these are the boys who kept us awake and did not waste our time having to stay and watch athletics at 2 a.m., at 3 a.m., you know, give it what, in terms of the build-up, the anticipation once again, it all felt again like uh, Azuma Nelson was fighting at 2 a.m. or 1 a.m., you know, everybody was up and everybody was talking about these young men who went out there to, to make us proud. So we are very, very excited to have them, three of them, first the coach, Professor Andrew Uzu. Uh, Prof, thank you very much for your time. Uh, we have uh, Benjamin Azamati as well, Benjamin Azamati featured in the 100 meters and of course the 4 by 100 meters. Ben, thank you very much for your time. And then Joe Paul as well, featured in the 200 meters and the 4 by 100 meters. So, you know what, let's go around it and just tell me how the feeling is. I, I don't know. <laughs> the last few days could be something, has been something for you. Azamati, how are you feeling? Um, I feel good, uh, Matthew. Um, uh, everything has come by so quickly. You know, um, being an athlete, um, we dream of, you know, getting to the Olympic stage. And um, last time when I spoke to you, I talked about, you know, qualifying for the Olympics at the GUSA 2020. In 2021, I'm here in the Olympic Games. So, of course, I feel proud of myself and I'm happy to be here. Joe, Joe what's the feeling like after, after all the work you put in and, and where you are at the moment? How do you feel? Um, I feel? I feel excited. Um, to be here, like Benjamin said, it's every, it's every other new dream to be at Olympia. So um, being over here, I feel like I've been able to accomplish um, one of my dreams. Yeah, I mean, as an athlete, it's it's one of the athletes' dreams. So it's it's I feel very accomplished. <laughs> yeah, Prof, how, how has it been managing the boys um, and, and seeing them do the thing? You know, uh, how has it been for you? For, for me, it, it's it's actually quite humbling um, to watch them in action, um, to also see the growth over such a short time. Um, and as somebody who competed in three of these games, I am amazed how well they did the first time around <laughs> because I, I remember my first time around and um, it's, it's just incredible to watch them. So for me, I am honored to be uh, uh, basically witness so, such uh, uh, incredible performance. Now, obviously, Joe and Ben are sitting here right now, but Sean is back there. Menu is also back there. Uh, Emmanuel Yaboa is back there as well as Safwan. So, and I know you get a chance to talk to them, but uh, really working with all six of them has, has been, I, I think of it as an honor to, to have been able to be with them at this time. Bob, well, let me stick with you because there's something about this team. Um, I, I spent some time talking to the 96, 97 group. Um, we're looking at coming, coming up with, they try to relive what they did then. And they, they said there's something that they used to do that they see in this team, that the, the friendship in this team is, is unbelievable. Now you can tell me about it because you've seen them when they gather and they go about and you've worked with them. Insia has given me a hint of what they do, but you tell me with your experience with them, what can you say about the friendship amongst the squad? Um, uh, you know, for, for any successful team, whether it's, it's, it's in athletics or in uh, some other team, team sports, um, there has to be chemistry. And when I say chemistry, uh, uh, sometimes just, just being able to work together, even if you are not really friends, um, is enough. Uh, the issue with this group is they are true friends, true brothers. Uh, I wish I could flip the camera around so you could see the, the, the PlayStation. Uh, <laughs> back here. You, should, you should see them going, going at each other when they're, yeah. when they're playing. But more so treating each other with respect, uh, making sure that, each other, that, that, that they are all okay. You know, they pick each other up when they need to. Um, without, uh, and they do it so seamlessly. Uh, that's, that's, for me, what, what is incredible. And... Uh, Joe, forgive me, but you guys are relatively young. So to see them at this age being able to work together this well um, is, is, is such a, is such a uh, it's inspiring. <laughs> That's mm. the other way I can put this. Yeah. Let, let's talk about the high moments first. Uh, Joe, qualifying for 200 meter semi final. I mean, look at the build up, everything. Um, can you just take me to the experience of? when you qualified for the 200 meter semi-finals? 
Um, prior to, you know, coming here, um, I had, you know, done some interviews and spoken to other people. And one of the things I always mentioned was I wasn't coming to Tokyo to be like, I'm just an Olympian or to see the city or just, you know, see how the Olympics is. I came here to compete. And um, I see myself as a, as a high-level athlete. And these guys are all high-level athletes, like professionals and stuff like that. So I came out here to compete with them. I didn't care who was in my heat. I just wanted to run my race and make it through the rounds. One of the easiest things to say in track and field is survive and advance. But it might be one of the hardest things to do. I just tried to, you know, stick to my plan, go into every race um, as it came and, you know, progress through to see if I could get to the finals. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get to the finals, but um, I tried my best. It probably wasn't good enough to make the finals. And I know for sure with this experience, um, I'll, I'll bounce back for it. Yeah. yeah. So, so, so at, the, at, the, at the finish line, at the finish line, I saw you, you had a good look at it again. I'm just trying to read your, 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 body, your body push. I like you wanted more. Yeah, I knew, I knew, I was, I was, I was kind of, I was kind of pissed at myself because um, I kind of changed my, my race strategy. I felt like the next round was going to be tougher. So I had to, you know, I spoke to my coach, I spoke to um, Prof as well, um, whether to make some adjustments because I knew running the same way um, from the, from the first round, might probably not get me into the finals. Um, I changed the, the 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 race plan, and um, I feel like I could have executed it more. If I had done that, I'd probably make the finals. Yeah. Right. Right. Excellent. But again, your effort was very much appreciated, and and I don't even need to say more. Um, you you saw that. I mean, the outflowing of um messages. Everybody really appreciated what you guys put out there. Azabati, let's talk about let's talk about the hundred meters. Of course, uh, Azabati, I know how you can beat yourself so hard, but it's okay. Um. Let's start. How how did the the disqualification of you know the Africans in the build up to your heat affect you? Because I think heat five and heat six, they were all false starts in there. Did it did it, did it play on your mind in any way? Uh, I would say a little bit, um, but uh, it wasn't something that I was so much focused on. Um, I would say that you know I had no reason like two two months prior to you know the Olympic Games, so. I would say I was not in race shape because the others had raced, you know, two weeks prior to the games and all that. So my reaction and everything was slow and all that. And I think that um, um, amounted to that. You know, I could say this has been like one of the poorest races that I've run in the whole of this season. But, you know, it's, it's, it's an experience. And from here, I'll just, you know, just have to learn and then, you know, build up on that and then come back stronger. Yeah, you know what? One of the things that impressed me, I, I, I mean, coach. One of the things that impressed me as a is the fact that you were able to do an interview right after the race. So you tell me, how did you how did you master that to do the interview right after the race? Because I, I was checking the timelines, and, and before I knew it, I think after twenty five minutes, uh, as a Matisse has granted an interview about the race that didn't go as you expected it to go. So, so what? What? How did that go? How did that happen? Like, how did you decide to do that? I mean, I feel people had to, you know, understand whatever that is going on. It just we, we couldn't just leave the things as it should be for people to just, you know, give their opinions on that. I felt I'm the one that I'm in the race. I'm the one that feels everything that is going on. So I had I had to, you know, speak for people to understand whatever that it was going on. So I felt there was a need for me to, you know, come out and explain whatever that went on in the track. Excellent, excellent, and and uh, Prof, your team bounced back in real style after everything they bounce back in the four by hundred meters and what a race now we'll talk about the dynamics of the race because you gave Ghanaians a super super banter i mean in terms of the bragging rights when when we beat usa you know <laughs> in the process and the kind of buzz and everything but prof let's talk about how you pick the boys up how they pick themselves up you know to go in and give it a fight how, how did that happen i mean how did you go about it Oh, I, th I think after the um, Ben's race, and, and, and you know, I think Ben has been a little bit hard on himself. Um, because always, always the, 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 the spike, yeah, the, 
And despite the the fact that his his reaction out of the box was 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 slow, um, I, I think it was the slowest coming yeah. out, right? Yeah. Um, you could see how incredibly fast he reeled the men. Yeah. Um, but obviously, with with a with a slow start and 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 him having to really basically chase and close them down, um, it compromises his. Um, I would say maybe his last twenty meters uh, um, a bit. Right, and so for us, when we looked at that, it's like, wow! And now imagine if if it actually went went well, meaning the potential is there. I mean, he has all the all all the necessary tools, all the necessary pieces are there. It's just a matter of just making sure that we execute the way we're supposed to. Um, Joe ran ex- extremely well in the heat. Um, I think lane nine in the in the semi final was a bit difficult because you know you can't really gauge off that. Um, and you don't even have enough time to react, um, right? Um, yeah. But he still ran really well, uh, twenty twenty seven, which, yeah. which is extremely fast. fast. Um, and so we were, I, I think, going into the relay at least the first run, we knew that we could we could do quite well. Um, they ran thirty eight oh eight, which is a national record, and we had a bit of an issue on the first handoff, right? Yeah. which actually cost us a bit of time. So when you look at it, I mean, these guys were primed to dip under 38 um, um, seconds. Um, but the little time that we had uh, campaign and being able to go over some of the potential scenarios, if things go wrong, how we adjust, um, you, for me, and I, I, I said this to Ben, it, it was remarkable to see um, him in real time reacting knowing that there was a slight issue and managed to get the baton you know um sean managed to get it to him and ben managed to get it and really roared down that back stretch um putting us um, back back in in contention and then joe's um last 100 was was also really uh, incredible in fact one of the lessons joe, joe took out of the the heat right? yeah. It, 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 it was, you know, uh, making a, a correction in terms of a mistake he made in the heat, but applying that in a four by one, which is what actually ended up getting us into the final. Perhaps wow. he can he can talk about that. <laughs> Jojo, what's the trick? What's the trick for those of us who want to become <laughs> athletes? <laughs> yeah. So, so um, my, my my teammates, my teammates, and my my coaches know me as someone who doesn't like to dip. Or even when I do dip, I don't know how to like dip on the line. So um, I, before you know coming over here, I try some some dipping practices just in case I'll need it in the last hour. So um, it, it worked this time, and we're able to beat the 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 sit team by two hundredths of a second, which yeah. is it, it sounds it sounds very small, but that's big. That's what goes goes into the final. So my my dipping strategy. I'll say it worked. I might, I might probably dip some more. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Charlie, as I'm saying, let's talk about it. You see, when you guys dropped your time at uh, in Poland, there was always a suggestion that no, you guys had a lot more in you, and that 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 thirty eight point one two was definitely going to go uh, with you guys. And and we were not in quotes, not too surprised. If you've been following this team, you knew that they had a lot of power in them with everything that they went there. But as I said, tell me, tell me, how, how was the feeling like? I mean, in that race, when you've made it to the finals, how was the feeling right? And, and, and checking the time and knowing that you had beaten the national record. I mean, we had it in us. We knew we could, we could break that record. You know, looking at the time that we were all running this season, we knew we could come up with them. For the time that could break the national record, so it wasn't really surprising, you know. Um, we knew our capabilities, we knew what we could do. It was just about, you know, you know, just um, getting the stick around, and we did that, and we we're, we're happy that we 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 came out with the thirty eight point zero eight. But you know, it's it's all boils down to we big man being together, and you know the chemistry and you know the kind of bond that we have, you know, really really played a role in we you know running this 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 time. Right. Let's just talk about the final. Clearly, things that didn't go the way you know you plan to go, but it happens. Um, I don't think we are the first team to to have this issue. It happens. Joe, how how did you take it on the track? Uh, we we kind of beat ourselves up a little bit. Um, Prof advised that we shouldn't do that because we had, um, you know, checked so many boxes, um, you know, from winning African Games to, um, yeah, winning African Games, going to World Championships, 
going to the oh, finals or yeah. the World Cup you know, coming over here and making the finals. So we had checked so many boxes. And, um, yeah, we, 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 we kind of beat ourselves up a little bit. But, you know, talking to – and I'll give, I'll give um, Abdul the, 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 his, his words of encouragement to us yeah. after this was, was just incredible. Like, we really appreciate what him and the GA have done for us. Um, it was – like, it kind of calmed us down. Yeah. Um, it, it, it hurts. Yeah, it hurts. Yeah. But we know, we know as time goes on, we're going to get over it and then bounce back because we know we left something over here in Japan and we have to get in Paris. So. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know. Prof, Prof, I guess you have a very difficult job of having to get the boys, you know, back because knowing them personally, they are, what's, what's the word? Their drive for success and excellence is so high. So when, when it doesn't happen the way they want it, 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 it takes you... A lot more effort to try and get them back up because they 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 always want to do well and they have set the they've set targets. You go back and watch their interviews two years ago, three years ago. They're talking about things that they wanted to do and and they've accomplished all of them. How difficult is it, you know, from a coaching point of view, to always get them back up? Well, this might this might be a bit surprising, but <laughs> these guys make it a lot easier than you. Oh, I see. Rather, oh, okay. Yeah, nice. yeah, yeah. It's actually it's actually the opposite, and and you okay. know. Um, Joe just mentioned Prof Dodi, and and one thing that Prof maybe starting I think as far back as um, 2015 was he's always been big about team chemistry. Okay, right. The idea that when you build a culture, one that is also healthy, you are able to do a lot more, even in a low resource environment. So uh, uh, with our guys, and we always say this to them. All that we can ask of you is to go out there and give, the, I mean, do the best, perform to the, the best, best of yeah. your ability. Yeah. You know, yeah. you always have your back. We are always going to support um, you guys. And these guys work hard. They work hard. Um, yes, obviously not, not doing as well in the finals as we hoped um, um, hurt. And yeah, myself, as well as Coach Apidugo, um, um, Nenu was, was there with us, as well as uh, uh, Safuan Sam. Yeah. Um, you know, the, the initial thing, thing hurts. But then what we said is, wow, I mean, think about all the boxes these guys have checked. And, and George, I mean, you yeah. are in sports. You cover sports. You, yes. you can check only so many boxes and then it's your turn to, you know, uh, yes. something to do. Uh, yes. Not. yes. And as, as Joe was saying, the number of boxes they've been able to check in the past two years, Yeah, I'm sorry, but I cannot think of any cohort including my cohort. And, and I mean, I know we were really, uh, uh, we had a pretty strong group back mm -hmm. then, but not even my cohort checked this many boxes in a, sh mm -hmm. a short time, yeah. right? Um, the other thing is mentally they are strong. Mm -hmm. You know, they take the punch. Yeah, it stinks, but they stand straight up and it's like, okay, what do you got for me next? Mm -hmm. uh, and that's that's the attitude that, that you know, I think true champions. That, that you need uh, to win, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let, let, let's just let's just end this quickly. Um, as I, as I, did you believe the support? Because um, myself, it, I I know that Ghanaians loved you guys, but I didn't know it could go to those levels. Now, the, the levels that it went to was crazy. And I was telling Gary, Charlie, look at it. We you say something about Joe thousand retweets as a, and three thousand retweets, four thousand like that. Really, did you guys believe that support? Did you, did you believe it? I mean, I don't know. As I, let me take from you first. <laughs> I mean, um, it's, it's, you are trending. It's you trended for three. You trended for three days. Uh, uh, Joe, you trended as well. The team trended. You were just trending, like you just have to go on the track. And before we know, it, you are trending on Twitter, and everybody's look. I I, I wish to pursue you some of my 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 the, my DM questions. When is it happening? What is the time? When is it happening? When is the time? We are not sleeping. We are doing the my God. Okay, so you tell me how you felt about that. Obviously, we felt good. We felt happy about that to you know that back home everybody supports us and praying for us but um, I think maybe I, I should say maybe they got fed up of maybe, let's say football and this time around there's another sport that is trending there's another sport that the guys are really really doing, doing well why don't we give them our support why don't we you know focus on them and see what they can bring bring back home so I think that was the main thing they, they thought it wise you know Let's back these guys up. Let's 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 support them. Let's give let's give them all our love and everything. And, and I think that was that was what happened. They they all came supporting us, you know, because we made them dream of even 
you know, having an Olympic medal or, you know, Ghana, Ghana going to, to the Olympic final because it's been a long time ever since uh, Ghana went to the final of such, such events. So we being there, they had every reason to, you know, support us and, you know, to be proud of whatever that we were doing here. Joe, what did you make of the support? Oh, okay, Paul. Okay. George, I, I just wanted to also say, uh, I've been in this business long enough. And when you talk about the positive support, the encouragement, uh, um, I think part of it is also how I think the media coverage has changed from professionals like you and many others in Ghana. Um, yeah. and, and I think you guys did an extremely good job of also letting folks understand that we were looking at something special that potentially could, you know, I mean, obviously there's no guarantees to getting into an Olympic final. Um, but I think the, 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 the coverage from you guys and from, from the media at large, from most, most of the media houses, really helped in, in propelling um, the stuff forward. Um, the hard work, obviously, is being done by, by, by these guys. Um, but uh, um, I think that being able to also tell that story um, in ways that people could connect with. And most of all, these guys are humble. I, I think, you know, for most people, when they see them, you can, I wish you could see them on the Walmart track, how they interact with athletes from other countries. Um, you know, the pressure, even under pressure, you see them all smiling, all dancing, all uh, uh, making light of it. But it, it, it's, it's unique. It's unique, George. Joe, Joe, let me give you the final word on this one. I mean, to tell us how 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 it is. Um, and I used to, yeah, we 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 understand that. Okay, yeah, I I don't remember how many times I watched athletics and and my heart was beating or I was tensed about you know days before or <laughs> a day before. Uh, Prof, you don't know, I was you. Yeah, the, the things I couldn't tell Azar or Joe, but I was telling Prof. Prof, you know, I told you before, like I the night before Azar when I was like. We're having a chat. I'm saying, actually, I can't even sleep. You're like, oh, calm down, calm down. Let's go. Let's go and let's get it happen. So we're really in this, like, and I love it that as a country, we are in this. Joe, what you make of all that you saw on social media, the love? I know you have tweeted a lot and, and said things, but yeah. what do you have to say? Um, I'll say the love, the love and support that Ghanaian show was, 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 I don't even know what word to use to describe it, but it was unbelievable. And, you know, like as I said, like, we know Ghana is a football nation, right? And we gave them another sport to watch. You also saying your heart was beat. I know, I don't, me, even me myself, like, I don't think my, my, ever, before I started running track, I don't think I had ever felt that type of way towards track and field before, you know? So, you know, it shows, it shows the kind of, um, level Ghana Athletics is, is going to and we are very happy to be the, the, the we, 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 we're happy to bring it back you know um, props time those guys were were incredible as well Provincian and his group yeah so we are happy to you know wake Ghana Athletics up again and um, we're setting the foundation even stronger for, for, for the guys back home and elsewhere to you know um know that they could do it regardless where they are the 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 support i can't i don't know it was just it was just unbelievable like but we we i mean we this is this is something that we've we've tried to achieve for ghana athletics and we are happy that it's you know forming very well for it george i have to make a small correction i have to okay. make a small correction okay right <laughs> no, the ladies paved the path <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. If you remember 2016, <laughs> the ladies would set them on that path. Yeah, and I remember yeah. the guys were like, "Yeah, we booked to show up too." Yeah, but, yeah. but you know what? We we never really got a chance to to to, to run a relay. Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah it was. Ghana, we never knew what Ghana men really could do because we had never got the chance. To yeah, put together. yeah, yeah. That's yeah. right. But I mean, right now, the 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 belief is there. Everyone has seen what can happen, and let's not forget we knocked we knocked USA out. That that banter was so sweet. That banter was so I sweet. Think, I, think, like, I think oh. <laughs> I think that's one of the yeah. excellent prof. Let's end it with um, what are the two priorities right now? I mean, what are the two top things you advise that government, ministry of youth and sport? 
I mean, what are the two top things we, we need to do? Because we are absolutely sure that this is a special group of athletes. It is about us and how much we can get from them. There is a, the World Championships in Oregon only next year. The next Olympics is not far away in 2024 in France. So what, what do we need to do from now, Fred? Paul? I think um, we got we got a bit of support from government this time around. For example, that was what made it possible for us to get to to um, uh, the world relays. Uh, we got a little bit of support for for um, the camping. Um, actually, I think half they were able to give us half of the, what we we had budgeted for. But I'm going to couch my response as a warning, and the reason why I'm going to couch it as a warning is that. This is something that has been doubled Ghana athletics for a long, long time. That when our athletes are in school in the U.S., schools are basically taking care of them. But after they graduate, they have to make a living. And so without any support, what happens then is the, the career takes a dive. Not because they don't have the potential, but because they have to make a choice. And so as a country, if we really are serious about um, the African uh, uh, Games coming up, which we are hosting, and we, as a country, should and aim to do well. Also for 2024, we have to start providing some serious support for these athletes. Because think about where Joe is right now, an Olympic semifinalist. It would be so sad if we can't support Joe after he's done with his NCAA eligibility, um, as well as Sean, as well as um, all the others, it's not, you're not going to find Joe in, in just a few years. You can't replace him, right? The level they've gotten to took so many years to get there. And the cheaper option is actually to support them so that they can then move on to the next level. And so that's the warning that I would like to share with, with all who are interested and really wish these guys well, is that as a nation, we need to look at being able to support them. This year, we got a bit of support, and you can see the huge difference it made. Right? So imagine if we had a long-term sustained uh, um, um, plan to, to, um, to support them. Prof, I think you've said it all. Thank you very much, guys, for your time. Um, we, we wish you the very best. We can't wait to see you when, when we are going to get to see you because, of course, you guys are going back, you know, to your bases and all. Uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll keep following it again. So, Azamati, I mean, uh, Joe, uh, Prof, uh, thank you very much. And to the entire team, everybody who ensured that we had a, a pleasurable experience yeah, at the Olympics. Normally, we watch the Olympics and it ends and there's nothing. But this time, we had a lot to tweet about. We had a lot to talk about. We had a lot to discuss. And indeed, you did a fantastic job with the flag of Ghana up there. How did you, maybe just a fun, how did you celebrate the, the bronze medal from the boxes? Were you around? Yeah, <laughs> um, Ben, you were down there. The... Ben, you were down there. Oh, Ben, you watched it. Oh, you guys all watched it live. Oh, I see. No, no, when he, when he came in with the, with the medal. But, 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 but Joe, just, just real <laughs> quickly, it is important to mention the entire full team. Yeah, that, yeah please, let's do. Please, let's do. Yes, of course. Let's do. Yeah, let's yeah, do. Yeah. Yeah. Because this was this was a long trip. This wasn't yeah, yeah. just a couple of months. This started back in 2019. Yeah. Martin Ogusuenchi yeah. was unable to join us here because of quota issues. But yeah. Martin played a huge role in 2019. Yeah. Um, and then we have uh, Safuan Sang, who joined the team. Um, Safuan Sang, in terms of practice and helping these guys get ready, obviously the four that ran the race, it was so vital um, that without his presence, as well as men who support him, um, it probably have been a lot more difficult. Um, so Safwan and, and men who were not able to, were not uh, um, part of yeah. the four that actually ran, but the roles they played was so critical. Um, mm. And so I want to make sure that they are acknowledged in this. Very um, important. So and I think, and I think you, you, you add the Leo Miles Mills who handled the steam, uh, Christian Insane yeah. as well, handled the steam and yourself. Yeah. Okay, that right, yes. Yeah. Um, as well as their coaches, uh, yes. uh, um, Ben uh, Coach Stewart, right? Yeah. Um, you know, really getting Ben ready. Team, um, yeah. Coach Hicks, Coach Spikes at Coppin yeah. State, really getting mm -hmm. these uh, guys ready. Um, also, Coach Obo in Ghana, uh, Robert Dunfo with, with Safo um, mm -hmm. doing an incredible job um, with him. So, and I've said this a number of times, for Coach Apidogo and myself being here, as well as uh, helping them with the, with the camping, all that we were doing was just moving that ball a little bit further down the road. Um, and so this uh, uh, credit goes to so many people. I think over the next few days, we'll be able to um, 
uh, uh, thank a whole host of people. Now, back to the boxer, Jama, uh, Ben. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so you learned the Jama? No, I didn't learn the Jama. <laughs> there, was, there was one woman from the ministry who led the, the Jama. So he, he was coming into the village and then they met him with Jama and they danced and you know, we had the GOC president, you know, playing the drum and all that. I mean, it was fun. It was fun. And I had to see the medal, of course, because this is my first time seeing a bronze medal from the Olympics. So it was nice seeing him, you know, with all smiles and all that. I mean, it's, it's, it, it was a good scene, I should say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Joe, what, what, what was your play in there? Because from your, your, your I'm a criminal university of science and technology days, you should have some good Jamaican background, right? Okay, it is also here. Oh, we guys, you have to do something. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. but let me say thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your time, and uh, thank you very much for everything you've done for the country. Uh, obviously, we're looking forward to even more great news as we come to, and we also understand that we have our roles to play uh, to ensure that you guys go out there from the media to everybody, you know, government to Ministry of Sports and everybody in the country. We've got, we owe it. Uh, a serious responsibility to ensure that we get the very best out of this special group of teams. Prof. Andrew, thank you very much for your time. Joe and Azar, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. <laughs> to as fast as losers, the United States of America run out of things.